Childers told Mike Skinner that time, let the car drift up a little bit higher coming off turn two. See if you can get some momentum down that straightaway to bowl alongside of Bob Hill because his car, Bob Hill's car, is running so well down the straightaway. And I expect the nine car running as close as he is to Skinner is taking a little bit of air off, making Skinner's car a little bit loose. He's sitting there in some what you might say bad air or what the race drivers and crews call. Here he comes, so he's, whoop, thought he had him that time. Oh, he touches in contact and Hill goes around, loops it once, twice, three times, and he slides down the back stretch. Caution will come out. Blaney gets on the brakes. And they are, we are told they're gonna black flag. They may black flag one of the cars up front. There is Bob Hill, and there's a 31 of Mike Skinner, who was trying to make a move inside of Bob Hill, and there was some contact, and Hill went around. And the black flag is coming out to, or at least one of the, the officials on the starter stand has a black flag in his hand. And we see that Bob Hill has, has his car going again. He is up in three and four. He still is not a lap down, so, but. Oh my, how quickly. There's the 31 being posted on the board, and they are going to black flag him. Here's a replay. He comes off the corner. I don't know. I couldn't see the I couldn't see the contact there, but and Hill's car comes. Oh, we see the some damage to the left rear. So I don't know if that damage was from before or not, but we're some damage to the left rear of that car. Now Bessie got him as he went by, just nicked him. Let's Maybe look that's again. What I guess that's what happened. I guess Bessie is who hit the rear of the car. Mm -hmm. As he was going around, Bessie's uh, Chevrolet just caught the edge and pulled some of the sheet metal. Hard to tell if, that was, if there was contact. I couldn't see it. They're giving the one to go. Here comes uh, Skinner down pit road to honor the black flag. Let's see. Maybe we can see it from here. Boy, I'm not sure there was. It was awfully difficult to tell. You know, maybe taking the air off the spoiler would, would cause it to the let's, back end to come around. Let's check into Skinner Pits. Bill Weber with Richard Childers. And Richard, your car has been black flagged. He had a good race going. What what had your view yes, of this? The car was pushing off the corners and he just pushed up. I get he said he touched him a little back there. That was racing, you know, it's the way it goes. Okay, and they have black flagged you, your car sitting here on pit road behind you. Yeah. Okay, that's Richard Childers. Mike Skinner sitting here. The car is still running. Less than one lap to go, being held by the ARCA official. And Mike Skinner will not win here today. Well, they're not contesting it. And then Richard Childers said that Mike Skinner said he did touch him. So, got to admire their honesty anyway. You yeah. see the ARCA official holding Mike Skinner and and uh, said the car had a push. Remember, they put those fresh tires on. Now they're contesting who's where up front. Well, Bob Hill is, I mean, he can't pass those cars that are in the, in the same lap with him, can he, man? I didn't think He's so. The pits, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he can do that. He can come down pit road. The caution is still out. Now they're waving the caution again. Is it? Now they turn the lights back on on the safety car, and uh, I guess they got to bring Hill down pit road to reset those flaps on top of the car. Jerry, they also got to put four tires on it. I mean, they had, as he spun back there, he had to flat spot the tires. And we talked about, then we see the damage to the left rear of the car. I guess that's when the nine car went by. See, the right front tire is flat on that car. See, the right front is completely flat. Now, remember, horse racing coming up next. America's Horse, ESPN 2's racing challenge with Chris Lincoln, that's from San Antonio, Texas, coming up, followed by highlights of yesterday's Winston Cup qualifying. And we'll uh, come back here as well with the interviews. Of course, highlights of yesterday's uh, poll qualifying and all the stories that are going on in NASCAR Winston Cup as a prelude to our live coverage of the Napa 500. The 38th special concert has been rescheduled. It'll be tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. So we'll have that for you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. That 38th special concert here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We'll get this one finished. Once again, if you just joined us, Andy Hillenberg has won the 1995 ARCA Bondo Marhat Series Supercar Championship. That has been decided. And in three laps, we're going to decide who wins the finale. And they're pushing Mike Skinner's car back up pit road. Apparently, it's going to take him right out of the race. He's still going to finish about six, though. 
They're going to just park it. I think that was the crew choice, not not a, an ARCA official choice. And the green flag waves once again. And boy, what a scramble up front. Now, could Joe Bessy, he's been able to run pretty well all day long. Can he catch Tim Steele? Steele, once again, gets that great start. But the 80 cars, Dave Blaney, remember he spun earlier. He went around twice today. So, boy, wouldn't that be something if he came back and could hang on? Here is Steele, and they will get the white flag this time by Doyle Ford and Hank Wetzel on the flag stand. One more revolution. And Tim Steele will make it a three sweep, a three P here in the final three events of Arkham for 1995. There's a look at the 1993 Arkham champion, one at Winchester, he won at Salem. And for the 13th consecutive year, the Arkham finale will go to a different winner at Atlanta Motor Speedway as he comes out of turn four and Tim Steele will take the victory in the Arca General Tire Hoosier 500. Joe Bessie finishes second and Dave Blaney in third. And Andy Hillenberg is the 1995 champion. There you go. Way to go, Andy. And Andy gets him a top five finish here. Finishes in fifth place to take the championship. And Bobby Bowser will finish 10th, nine laps down. Hillenberg was, in fact, one lap down to the leader. The winner of the race, Tim Steele. So once again, we congratulate our winner, Tim Steele. We'll be back with more from Atlanta Motor Speedway after this.